I gotta say, the accessories don't quite make sense for it, though. Because, I mean, you're not about to stick some butter in a toaster. That just doesn't seem safe. Hey Vivats, I'm back, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of these new My Squishy Little Snack Pack Surprise Boxes. And I do have two here today. The first one is a single pack, which cost me $5.97. And then I have a two pack, which was $12.97. And I picked these up at Walmart here in Canada. But if you live in the States, it looks like the single packs are $4.97 and the two packs are $9.97. Now those prices are really affordable and the packages are very cute, colorful, and eye-catching on the shelf. Which made me want to pick them up. Now we got to find out if they're worth collecting. And we're going to get started with the single pack, which definitely looks like a hamburger box. It's really cute. So it's pink, yellow, purple, and bright, basically all over, covered in super cute little food faces. They're definitely easier to see if you look at the big ones here on the front. It says, will they pop or will they drop? Oh, and over here we've got some popcorn and a jelly bean, I think. It says we're going to get one character and one accessory inside the box. But I mean, all these other pictures give us an idea of what else we can collect because there are over 50 different interactive characters in the series. Not gonna lie, I kind of hope for something that pops because that's adorable. It's a chip bag with a chip, but I would be super thrilled to get popcorn because it's my favorite snack. So fingers crossed that happens for us. Now the box itself is a printed cardboard, but it is wrapped in plastic. So I'm just finding the tear strip. Oh, there it is. And we're gonna go. Three, two, one. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't expect it to be printed inside. It looks like a movie theater. <gasps> if I fished my wish, man, I will be so excited. So we've got some curtains over here. It looks like that's the way to go to the movie. Then we've got a concession stand in the back and a little drink dispenser on the side. And down in the bottom here, we've got more printed stuff and our surprise. It's wrapped in tissue, but it definitely does not feel like popcorn, but it, it does feel heavy. That's interesting. Oh, and underneath, we've got a little cute character in a plastic bag. Not gonna lie, kind of looks like a tab of butter, not a light and fluffy popcorn. So I don't think I fished my wish, but this is really cute. It kind of reminds me of an eraser. I wonder if it can be used as one. Not gonna test that, but I wonder. And under it, we have some more printed decorations. So that would be popcorn, kernels, cotton candy, and chips on the floor. It's red and white stripes there. We've got some soda can seating off to the left. Some cup decorations in the background here. There's hanging lights and some kind of stacked cup game. Looks very Angry Birds. There's a green gummy bear and over here we've got some chip bag seating. They kind of remind me of bean bag chairs. There's even cheesies like decorating the walls. It's so funny. And then in the back there's some pink and blue decorations. This is really cute. You could definitely use this as a little scene. Personally I would cut it up and kind of spread it out to build a scene but definitely adorable. I love when packaging can be used again. And now on to our actual surprises. I can tell already that it is going to be a pop-up character based solely on this little guy here. Like I said it does look like like a tab of butter. So I'm just gonna open it up because I wanna see, is it an eraser? Uh, if it's not, it's doing a very good job impersonating one because it is rubbery and does bend. And to be honest, it probably could be used as one. By the way, it's a round edged yellow square with a super cute face on it. And here's our actual character. It's quite heavy, guys. It's basically a round flat top and bottom thing. And because of this little butter dude here, I feel like it's a pancake or a waffle. Luckily for us, the paper it's wrapped in is actually the checklist. So we'll be able to see. Oh, there it is. I was right. It is most definitely a waffle. Well, I guess I kind of said pancake as well, but you know what I mean. In a nice light creamy yellow color. He's got a super cute face, little eyebrows there and even raised areas to make it look like the diamond pattern you would see on a waffle. And even some frosting. He's so cute and this feels rubbery as well. Most likely so that you get a good grip on it so you can squeeze it I think. I don't know. You're gonna do something with it but regardless it's a hefty boy. This would definitely fill you up if it were real food which it's not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop in our butter push it down and here we go. Hopefully it doesn't go flying. There are little spots painted on either side of him. So I assume that's where we squeeze. We're about to find out. Three, two, one. Hey, that's exactly where we go. Excellent. Push it down again. Okay, this is definitely cute. I feel like this would usually cost around $10, at least here in Canada. So I'm quite surprised by the quality of this for that price. Like it's got a good heft to it and it feels really well made. Woo! Hey, that landed upright. It's like the water bottle challenge, but the butter eraser waffle my squishy little snack pack challenge. Can I do it again? 
No. All right, that's super cute. Does he have a name? Do waffles have a name? It looks like they do. Let's check. Um, if his name's not like Wilma or Willie, I'm gonna be kind of annoyed. I'm just kidding. Oh, you know what? It starts with a W. That's okay. I'll accept that. It's a Wes. And it looks like our little tab of butter is called Bell. Wes and Bell. That's cute. But oh my goodness, these are adorable. There's nothing on the back, by the way. Okay, so, oh my gosh. Wow, I hate when I find something so good, like affordable, and there's so many to collect because it's gonna make it impossible to uh, pick and choose. But I gotta say, I really want the popcorn and it's appropriately named Poppy. And you know what? Her little popcorn kernel is named Ken. Poppy and Ken. Oh my gosh, such a perfect combo. Is there a soda here? Because if not, you know, that seems like a missed opportunity. And you know what? I'm not seeing one. Oh no. <laughs> but I'm not sad because this is great. Oh my goodness. Let's do it one more time and then we'll move on to the next one. <laughs> and now our two pack. This one here is shaped like a lunchbox and it is bigger, which makes sense because it does contain two characters plus any additional little ones if it's a popper, as well as apparently some bonus surprises. In fact, there will be five of them. So on the front here, we can see a little popper that looks like a watermelon as well as a toaster and a pop tart. Oh my gosh, I love it. I want it. I want it right now. Ah, okay. On the sides, we've got the same picture of a little strawberry character with what looks like another pop tart as well as a little egg and a frying pan I think and then a whole bunch more super teeny images of characters that we can get so let's get opening our lunchbox because I just I need to know who's in here oh I botched the tear strip guys is anyone surprised probably not let's see how do we open this you just pull down the front yes you do cute 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 oh 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 hold on we need to we need to zoom out we need more space let's try this again I thought it was just gonna fold down but it actually folds out and down. Wait, do we open the sides too? Maybe? I might be doing this wrong, but I'm gonna open the sides because it's definitely gonna be easier to show it off. If I'm not meant to, I'm sorry, but I'm doing it. So inside we've got all of our stuff. I'm just gonna pull it off to the side here. To be honest, it kind of looks like a strawberry, banana, and pineapple party with a whole bunch of super cute fruits all over the floor. I did start cutting the sides just so that I can show it off a bit better. And the tape is really easy to remove and the sides are printed. So it leads me to believe that maybe that's not such a strange idea, you know? Maybe we're meant to have more space to use it as a playset. I mean, that's what people like to do, play and display. And if you pull all the tape down, yeah, you can definitely spread it out and create an entire scene, guys. Look how nicely printed that is. And the colors are really vibrant. Oh, by the way, I didn't see anything wrong on these characters at all either. So yeah, back to the packaging. This looks super cute and definitely looks like some kind of tropical fruit party. We've got some bunting in the back, decorations on the wall, some watermelon drinks there, a pitcher of some kind of juice, some strawberry seeds and fruits all over the floor, as well as some little seated areas and umbrellas. Like I said, super adorable. But of course, no matter how cute that is, we're all here to see what kind of surprise characters we get. So let's zoom in a bit and give them a check. Oh my gosh, I see a Pop-Tart. <gasps> okay, first up, we've got the surprise bag and this one has a label on top. It almost seems like something you'd be able to buy individually in a store, but there's no barcode. It just says poppers. So I guess we've got some various poppers for whatever characters are wrapped in there. So let's see what we're working with. The bag is obviously transparent, but you know what I mean. So first up, we have a fun pair of glasses. There's a little umbrella in the right eye and a straw in the left. And funny enough, on camera, these look kind of orangey to me. I'm gonna put them against the table so you guys can see. It might just be because of my super highlighter sweater and nail but in person, it is in fact a red pair of glasses. And then we've got our poppers. The first one here looks quite familiar, doesn't it? Oh my, it seems to be a twin of our butter. So I guess we've got two bells now. That's awesome. So it is the exact same. Once again, yellow with a cute little face. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it is sticking a tongue out at us. And then we've got ourselves some new characters. In fact, three of them. So the first one here, I can't be positive, but I want to say it's meant to be like a life saver. Maybe we'll find out once we actually open things, but it's all red. It's completely round with a little section cut out in the center. So I can't be sure, but I'm thinking lifesaver. Then we've got a super cute little pop tart here. It's a nice tanned color with a nice scalloped edge the full way around. Purple frosting, pink and blue sprinkles, and a super adorable face. 
And finally, we've got a nice cream colored little dumpling head here, which looks exactly like the My Squishy Little Dumplings, which the company also sells. And now our surprises. I'm gonna start with the big one here first because I kind of have a feeling it's a toaster and I'm really hoping that I'm right. Yes, it is a toaster. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so cute. I'm so happy. Okay, so it's all blue with purple handles and a matching base. And look at this super cute face. Oh my goodness, his mouth is wide open. There's a raised decorative section here in the front to make it look super fancy. And overall, guys, it's got that same rubber feel as everything else. Not gonna lie, it kind of makes my hands feel a little sticky, but it's not sticky. So I'm thinking it might just be because it's hot where I'm filming. I don't know, but it's my job to tell you what I feel. So I did. Okay, now as much as I love this, I gotta say, the accessories don't quite make sense for it though because I mean you're not about to stick some butter in a toaster that just doesn't seem safe <laughs> but uh, for the sake of the video we're just gonna try it out please do not put butter in your toasters if you are watching this all right just don't it's not safe and go there goes our butter. Next up, we've got our lifesaver, which I have now decided might be a red bagel. <laughs> so let's just pop that in and three, two, one. Caught it. By the way, the uh, spots on this one are blue. I forgot to point that out, but they're on the side there so that you know exactly where to squeeze. Now I'm gonna go with my favorite little Pop-Tart here. We're gonna push it in. See, it kind of just sticks on top right at first. So you put your little character in and push that down all the way. And then when you put your fingers on those little blue sides so that you squeeze it, boop, it pops up. And that's what makes these little babies pop out. So here we go. Boop. Oh, I failed you, buddy. Let's try that again. Three, two, one. <laughs> Never mind. I failed him twice. Third time's the charm. Here we go. Oh my gosh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe we'll have some better luck with our little dumpling. Three, two, one. Yes! Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Come back. We gotta do the Pop Tart again. Maybe if it's upside down. Here we go. Yay! Excellent. All right, so it looks like we've got Ty the toaster and his little pastry friend here because I guess we can't call them Pop Tarts, but I mean, come on, we all we all know. But anyways, apparently her name is Gina. So we've got Ty and Gina here. Boop. <laughs> so when it comes to these guys here, it looks like we just got a bunch of randoms, which is awesome. Unless one goes to whoever's inside this package, I suppose that's always a thing. Let's find out, shall we? This one has the best print job out of all of them. We can actually see it. I'm gonna make sure to open this one very carefully. She says, trying her best not to rip it because that's probably what's gonna happen now that she decided. <gasps> hey, we did it, Never mind. All that self-doubt for no reason. <gasps> oh my gosh, we got a burger. So this one's a dropper. Um, He doesn't have a pop thing. So let me just quickly point out that if you get a little bag that's filled with surprises, you can get a bunch of random poppers. That's awesome. So, I mean, we can just use whatever we want in them because they're all compatible. See? Yeah. Let's just pretend this is a slice of fruit on our waffle. It doesn't really matter, does it? We can have dumplings and waffles. Who are we to judge? That could be delicious. Okay, but on to this little burger patty here. What's your name? What's your name? Why can't I see you? I can't find it. Is it this? Oh, I think it's Bo, because it's a burger wearing glasses. <gasps> they actually fit. <sighs> Oh my god, why is this so amazing? Why is this so amazing? Just because it is. So here's what he looks like with his glasses. I'm gonna stick out his legs, right? Squeeze the sides, boop, there you go. That's a little bow. Wait a minute, no, he's wearing green pants and has a chicken on him. Wait, that can't be Bo. Oh, I'm so confused. I'm very confused. It is Bo. No, he's got ketchup glasses. Wait a minute. No, no, I lied. It's Bella. It's Bella because Bella has the chicken on her clothing. So it's a girl burger. Oh my gosh. Now I need a Bo burger. Okay. Anyways, this is Bella and this is what she looks like with her soda pop glasses. But without them, she's just regular burger. A chicken burger. Actually, doy. She's got a drumstick on her. That makes sense. See her nice chickeny colored patty complexion there. She's got nice big eyes and some condiments, which may or may not be an orange based sauce or cheese with some lettuce underneath. And of course we can't forget about her sesame seed bun. The little dots on either side of her where we squeeze instead of popping something out, allow us to see her body. Very cute. So interestingly enough, the cute little display area of the actual box playset has nothing to do with what characters you'll get inside. It's completely random, but it must be assembled by people who are putting these together because otherwise, how would they have known to give me this bag that include these glasses for my Bella burger, plus the not so Pop-Tart Pop-Tart that goes with my toaster. You know what I mean? I don't know, but I'm really excited that we got an opportunity to see both a popper as well as a dropper.
because now we know what they both do. And I have to say they're really cute. I definitely thought I would prefer a popper more than a dropper, but look how excited I was as soon as I saw Bella in those glasses. Like, come on. <laughs> So we know that Bella, the butter tab, came with Wes because we got that today. And that tells me that you can get any random character in the five bonus accessory little goodie bag that we got. So we do have a duplicate of Belle. And of course, Gina, our little pastry pop here, came with the toaster, meaning she has a home. But what about these last two here? They need names. So I'm just gonna quickly find them. Oh, there's one. And his name is Dom. He comes with Todd a little takeout container of noodles. And right below Ty, I just happened to spot this little box of cereal here called Pop O's named Sierra. And she happens to have a little pal named Chloe who looks very much like the one in my hand. So I guess she wasn't a lifesaver, nor was she a red bagel. Boom, mystery solved guys, mystery solved. Yes. Okay, guys, that's it for me and our brand new My Squishy Little Snack Packs. Of course, I did open two here today, which includes the single and a two pack. And now I've got three cute new friends for the kids to play with. Overall, I think these are a really good quality. I literally found nothing wrong with them. And I love that their packaging becomes a play set. At five to seven dollars for the single pack or 10 to 13 dollars for the two pack, depending on where you live, these are really affordable and would make for some excellent easy gifts. And you know what? They're very tactile too. You can definitely use these as a little fidget. Just make sure you don't lose the little extra characters if you've got a pop-up one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did and haven't yet, then please remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future fun toy reviews. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!